students today we are going to see synthesis of nitrofurant ion what is nitrofurant ion it is a nitrofurant that is used as a urinary tract anti infective what is the basic one for nitrofurant ion they should have fine nitro to feraldehyde nucleus so we see the synthesis for that we are taking two starting materials one is called as glycine another one is called urea glycine is an amino acid so they should have two ends one is an amino end another one is an acid end so it should have cooh on one end nh2 on the other end so in center it is having ch2 so that is the structure for glycine that combines with urea what happens here from the acid one oh should be taken and that combines with h from nh2 and removed as water and here from the glycine amino group h2 is removed so there may be removal of one molecule of water and one h2 it undergoes cyclization in the presence of hcl or water at 140 degree centigrade so here the bond between carbon and nitrogen would be broken and to satisfy the valency of that carbon that has to unite with the nitrogen because already two hydrogens should be removed from the nitrogen no for one bond that has to connect with the carbon for another bond and also and also to satisfy the valency of this nitrogen this nh2 would be attached with this nitrogen so we are getting the structure so what is the name without nh2 it can be called as hydantoin hydantoin what is the chemical name for hydantoin that is called imidazolidin 2,4 diene so that is called as hydantoin so with that we are adding one amino group so this is called as one amino hydantoin now we are taking that one amino hydantoin that combines with 5 nitro to feraldehyde this is furan number 1 2 3 4 5 so second position it is having aldehyde fifth position it is having nitro group so this is called as 5 nitro to feraldehyde or 5 nitro furan 2 aldehyde so by the addition of these two again there may be removal of one molecule of water from h2 from this end and o from this end so water is removed and this has to unite with this nitrogen has to unite with the ch here how the oxygen is connected to the carbon by means of double bond here how the hydrogen would be connected with the nitrogen that is by means of single bond but here two hydrogens should be removed that's why to satisfy the valency of this carbon and nitrogen what happens both would be connected by means of a double bond that's why we are getting ch double bond n and this is the imidazolidin 2,4 diene structure so that has to unite with this one and we are getting nitrofurant ion once again i'm repeating that glycine combines with urea there may be removal of one molecule of water and h2 we are getting one amino hydantoin that combines with 5 nitro furan 2 aldehyde there may be elimination of one molecule of water we are getting nitrofurantoin so that is the synthesis of nitrofurantoin